go. There's a little list Hungarian Rhapsody for you. And I'm here today to show off this magnificent C7 that's going to Lou in Texas. I'm not sure where in Texas, San Antonio, somewhere there. He's been waiting for this piano for quite some time. Uh, it's been difficult to get all the parts that we need to make these pianos perfect like they're supposed to be, so they've been taking a little longer time than usual. But uh, as you can see here, this is a magnificent C Yamaha C7. It's got a great bass. <laughs> Anyway, so this piano is just ready to be packed up and uh, I just would like to show it off to you guys and uh, again, with all the pianos that go out of here, every single piano that leaves, leaves with a brand new set of new strings and this one isn't any different. So I'm going to pull this music stand out. By the way, this is a music desk and just a quick lesson on how to pull one of these out. Uh, when you see it in the piano here, usually the keyboard cover is open. You always want to make sure that it's closed before you pull the music desk out because then pull it out it might hit the gear and scratch so you don't want to do that so let me take this off here and uh, I want to show off to you guys if the camera will come around on this side and as you can see in this piano everything is new when we have the uh, piano taken apart before we get it ready for delivery. We take out all the old strings. Uh, when we have all the old strings out, we clean the soundboard. We clean all the um, plated hardware, the chrome, the nickel. Uh, we clean the bridge pins. Everything gets done by hand. We put new graphite in the bridges. Um, every, all the hardware gets polished before it gets reinstalled because, believe me, when this piano came in, they were all oxidized. They weren't as shiny as you see them now. And we actually pulled the whole plate out in order to do this. Over here, you see these are the tuning pins. And uh, these are all nickel plated. And um, when, we, when we put them in, uh, we put them in. And then what you'll notice is that all the coils are nice and high off the plate. Because when these pianos come in, from uh, Japan and there, wherever actually, it could be anywhere that they come in from, but uh, what happens is that as these uh, pianos age and as they're tuned, these tuning pins go lower and lower down into the plate. As a matter of fact, let's look at one over here that we haven't really strung yet. So you can see the difference. Got one over here. We'll pull this out. So this is a piano we've not done anything to yet. So if the camera can come over here, you see how close this coil is to the bottom of the plate? Well, when this hits the, the bottom here, you can't tune this anymore. So you could probably get another five years out of this piano, but every piano that goes out of here, whether you're spending $10,000 or $30,000, is going to last you another generation of use. You're going to get another 25, 30 years with one of our pianos without any tuning issues ever. Because you get about that 25 years uh, of use from a piano before you start to see that you're going to have tuning issues. Okay, so, and I want to show you, I got uh, Russell Jr. is working here today on something, so something non-related to this piano, but come on over here and we'll see what he's working on. Uh, good morning everyone, Russell Jr. as I said. I'm uh, working on this G3 Action and uh, these Sharps come in you, over the years, you know, you play the piano, as you can see, you take off the black paint and I'm repainting these. Well, I'll explain because what happens is that, and this is a perfect reason why I like to tell everybody a couple of rules before you play the piano. 
Number one, wash your hands, okay? Because any dirt or oils that you have on your fingers are gonna automatically get transposed onto the piano keys. This, however, is done by fingernails because as you're playing the white keys, if you have long fingernails, you're going to scratch the wood while you're playing. So what we do here is basically you can demonstrate. Yeah. Very, very simple. <laughs> I spread them out a little bit and then it's a simple light coat. Don't want to lay it on thick or else you get orange peel on one side. And let those dry. The next step are these. They're not really quite there yet, so again, we'll do another coat. And then results, and then these ones. you can see the results on on these these keys here. The next thing that I want to show you is the white keys. Remember when I told you that you have to wash your hands when you play the piano? Well, come over here and you see the difference because what happens is that if you're playing the piano and your fingers are dirty, look at over here how dirty this is from the wood and when you're, when you're, when the, when you're playing the piano, you actually will see that. Now, can you demonstrate yes. how to fix this? Can you hand me a sander? <laughs> Do it over here. Over here. Do this one, I think it's gonna be more satisfying. I like that word. <laughs> Look how dirty this one is. Somebody need to wash their hands while playing this piano. All right. Beautiful. Actually, you should do that outside. We're making a lot of dust in here. Mm. But, uh, but the other thing that I want to talk about, something with the uh, Yamaha uh, key tops, is sometimes you get this, okay? If you'll notice that this is a very yellow key front. And so what we do with the key fronts is that there's really no way to treat that. They actually have to be replaced. So what we use for those is very special Yamaha key fronts. Okay, so let's open this up and basically can see what they look like. So when you take the Yamaha key front out, you have one side that's covered by plastic. It's like a plastic sheeting. And the other side is this. So what happens is that this has to be removed. And I can't demonstrate how to remove it right now because we have to actually do it on a vise. And I don't have the equipment here. But we actually heat this up with an iron, an old-fashioned iron that you iron clothes with. We heat this up and it'll actually melt off. And then we use contact cement, which we put a layer or a coat of contact cement on this. And the layer of contact cement on this side here. And when the contact cement is uh, tacky, then we put it on here. Now it's going to over, it's going to hang over a little bit, but we just take that on the belt sander and we file it off and then you have a brand new beautiful white key top. So that basically shows you how we do our, our piano keys and if you want to go, let's go back over to that C7 and you can see how they look when they're all finished. See, as you can see here, you don't have any of the, the, the missing paint from fingernails and your white keys are nice and clean. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video about this uh, magnificent C7 here that's ready to go out. Uh, again, my name is Russell. This is the Piano Outlet. And uh, thank you so much for watching.